Thank you, Linda. Of course, there are many other partnerships that have helped make Rapid Ride possible. So I'd like to thank our local cities and their mayors, many of whom are here with us today. Tukwila Mayor Jim Haggerton, SeaTac Mayor Terry Anderson, Des Moines Mayor Bob Sheckler, Kent Mayor Suzette Cook, and Federal Way Mayor Linda Kochmar for their city's support in helping us launch the A-Line. Working together, these mayors and their cities have coordinated and built dedicated HOV lanes and constructed other improvements that will now allow Rapid Ride to operate faster and more efficiently. I would like to invite on their behalf Linda Kochmar and Mayor Sheckler to come up and say a few words. Mayors. Thank you, Executive Constantine, and thank you to all of you who have worked so hard to bring Rapid Ride to the South County area. I'd like to particularly thank my colleague, Councilmember Jean Burbage, who's worked for over 12 years on transportation issues on behalf of our district, and also King County Councilmember Pete Von Reitbauer, who sits on the Sound Transit Board on behalf of our city. We represent a city of 88,700 people. We represent a number of college students who attend Highline, a large number attend Highline and the University of Washington who are going to be very dependent on rapid ride transit. We have over 125,000 students in our school district and we're waiting very, very with bated breath for you to complete Link Light Rail to South 272nd Street. Thank you on behalf of our citizens for all of your work on our behalf. We appreciate that very much. As mentioned, I'm Bob Sheckler, uh, Mayor of the City of Des Moines, and I'll just briefly tell you why we think it's important uh, to have Rapid Ride in our city. Uh, the Rapid Ride line provides link connections in the north end of Des Moines near Bartell Drugs. From the Tukwila International Boulevard Station via Pacific Highway South, including stops at SeaTac Airport. Highline Community College, which is located in our city, will have improved transit service was an excellent option for students and faculty to park at the Redonda Heights Park and Ride lot and ride the bus right to the college, which is just south of 240th Street. Rapid Ride buses will also have free Wi-Fi on board. Increased visibility to businesses along Pacific Highway with Des Moines for its users with this transit option. New, faster transit service with buses running every 10 minutes during the peak times and 15 minutes during most other times as opposed to the current Metro 174 route. Four new improved bus shelters within Des Moines, including larger roofs, interior lighting for safety, bike racks, benches, and high signal passenger activated bus stop lights to signal that you're there to the driver. With the Rapid Ride project, we're able to work with King County Metro and have a portion of the fiber optic cable installed along Pacific Highway to be designated for city use in the future, as well as connection down 216th Street to our city hall. This first selection of fiber insula uh, installation is a significant piece of the city's future community network. In addition, the rapid ride stops in our city will help trigger the redevelopment projects that we have planning for particularly the Waterview Crossing project near 216th Street. And the east-west connecting services already in place will provide convenient access for our citizens to the faster, more reliable north-south service on Pacific Highway. Uh, from behalf of the city of Des Moines, we say thank you, Rapid Ride, a big thumbs up for everything you've done. There are a couple other agencies I'd like to thank Washington State Department of Transportation and Sound Transit. Our State Department of Transportation helped us by installing the fiber optic communication system that supports Rapid Ride's technology. And Sound Transit, we'd like to thank for their support in incorporating Rapid Ride features into their two transit centers along the corridor here at Airport Plaza. The work of these agencies should be seen as a model for what a successful bus rapid transit system can look like. We also look forward to our continued partnerships with the many businesses and organizations in the A-Line corridor, including 
SeaTac Airport, and area businesses that support thousands of aviation related jobs. Port of Seattle owns and operates SeaTac Airport, and here today is one of our port commissioners. I'd like you to join me in welcoming Commissioner Rob Holland. Thank you. Uh, I and my colleagues uh, and the entire Port of Seattle are very happy to join County Executive Constantine, Councilmember Patterson, and other distinguished guests today to celebrate the launch of the Rapid Ride Service. We see Rapid Ride as an important connection between South King County communities and SeaTac Airport for passengers and employees. I just wanted you all to know that about 20,000 people work uh, in more than 100 businesses right in back of us here at SeaTac Airport uh, every day. And we serve more than 100,000 passengers arriving and departing for destinations around the country uh, and the world helping people get to the airport more efficiently with fewer cars helps our environment and our community and also plays an important role in what we consider ourselves the greenest gateway uh, to North America. We're very pleased about the success of Sound Transit light rail service to the airport from Seattle that began in 2009 and Rapid Ride will complement that service. Also, thanks to Metro for more for, for the new 100, 180 route from Auburn that expands bus service to the airport. As we all know, the economic decline has been tough on everyone, and that has been reflected in our passenger volumes here at SeaTac Airport. It's been flat, but we expect the economy and air travel to turn around uh, in a couple years uh, and start the growth again. And that means we have to be ready to provide options for our passengers and workers to travel to and from the airport. So again, the Port of Seattle congratulates King County for doing its part to provide new transit options for our citizens. Thank you. Thank you, Rob. Within five years, the A-Line is expected to draw more than 2.5 million riders annually. That is a 50% increase over the ridership in this corridor currently. The A-Line will be greeted by 20,000 students and faculty who work and study at Highline Community College. Parenthetically, I have a special place in my heart for Highline. My father, nearly a half century ago, began his college teaching career at Highline Community College. It's my honor to welcome today the Vice President of Highline who will share a few words about what Rapid Ride will mean to students and employees. Please join me in welcoming Larry Yoke. The Highline community is very excited about the advent of Rapid Ride. When I came to the college in 2006, we had about 10,000 students and 2,200 parking spaces. We're currently on track to have nearly 12,500 students at our campus. We still have 2,200 parking spaces. We're reliant on public transportation to accommodate this growth. As uh, Mayor Schechter mentioned, uh, we're particularly pleased that Rapid Ride makes the 276th Park and Ride lot a reasonable alternative for our students. So I'd like to thank our partners in Metro and King County for making this service available. I know our students will be very appreciative of the alternatives. Thank you. When the A-Line officially debuts tomorrow, look for additional amenities to appear in the coming weeks and months. Soon, riders will see real-time information signs at 24 rapid ride stations that will count down the minutes until the next bus arrives. This real-time information will become available shortly after the start of rapid ride service once Metro has an opportunity to calibrate the data that allows the system to function. At the conclusion of this celebration, I'd invite you to take a look at the new electronic signage on board our new rapid ride bus. You'll see features that include customer service information, and tomorrow when the buses are actually operating in the route, they will have automated stop announcements. 
And now for an announcement of my own. I'm pleased to let you know that this onboard system will not be limited to just the A-line of Rapid Ride. Later this fall, riders all across the county will begin to enjoy the same technology on regular metro buses. These features should be standard on all of our 1,400 buses within 18 months. So thank you very much for joining us here today to preview Metro's first rapid ride line. When this line goes into effect, buses will be arriving here every 10 minutes, which means over the course of this program, you would have seen about nine or 10 buses come by. But I want to give you a chance to have a look at one of these new rapid ride buses and to really appreciate the upgrade in quality and service that the people of South King County are going to see. So this weekend, come back, because we will be offering free rides on the A-Line to introduce riders to a new generation of Metro service. Now, I'd like to request that all the elected officials who are here gather for the obligatory class photo as we, and this will be preserved forever in the Metro Archives, as we inaugurate the very first Rapid Ride Line. Thank you very much for being here today.